Legend has it that this house hides the legendary crystal skull. No one who has entered has ever survived. However, our heroes today are going to try. With one measly tent and no knowledge, can they survive? What's with it? everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft video where today we're outside of an extremely spooky house you can just see over there in our slightly high tech tents. Now it's called slightly high tech because it's got basic amenities, furnace, crafting table, chest and also a little bit of glowstone in the floor but mainly because of this. Now this is designed to keep the monsters out and Treorus in so that he doesn't go and get himself killed from all the nasties. So, why are we here? Well, we are here because we are going to attempt to steal a great treasure called the Crystal Skull. Now, it's rumored to have been left in this abandoned house over here that you can just about see. But first, me and Treorus are going to have to craft some supplies. Now, the first thing we're going to need to craft is some fat, which sounds a little bit weird. And you can craft it with either rotten flesh or pork chops, and you craft it exactly like this. So check this out. That's how you make fat, guys, if you ever wondered. Now, this is going to be used for pretty much, well, almost every recipe in this mod. But the first one it's going to be used for is some oil, which we're going to use for our lanterns and loads of other stuff as well. So if we grab some glass bottles like this and then just place our fat along the side like this, we get bottled fat. This sounds properly gross and I guess it is. So let's grab um, some bottled fat and with this we can then smelt it into oil which is going to be more useful than just a glass of bottled fat. So let's put that in there and smelt this up and in the meantime we're going to craft some other things. So first up I want to craft um, a barrel so we can store our oil. So let's just grab this and put it around the edge and put one iron ingot there and we get a barrel now. Can we fit this in our little tent here? Yes we can. Look how cool that looks. That looks very nice. I like it. I like it. Now our tent's got slightly more high tech and also we're going to craft some other stuff too. Mainly we're going to craft a candlestick because we might be able to find some resources inside to be able to um, explore the mansion a little bit more. So let's grab this. We need um, one piece of fat and this. So let me see if I can remember the recipe. I think it's this. Or it might be this way around. Um, let me just put it like this. There we go. A candle holder. Now this is very useful because what we're going to be able to do is hold it and light it and it's going to be perfect. But we need a way to light it, which hopefully... Oh no, I broke it. I broke it, Charles. Charles, I broke it. We're, we're in major trouble right now. All we've got is oil and nothing to light it with. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I'll just fill up this tank first. So what we need to do is put the lantern oil in here. So we just right click to fill it up. And you can see the oil level going up. And we also get our bottles back as well. Now, Treros, have you got... Oh, he has. He's got a candle holder. That's perfect. Thanks for setting that up, buddy. And I think to be able to light this, we can use the, the oil from here. So I didn't mean to do that. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I thought I wasn't going to be able to pick it up. But can I fill this up with oil? I want to fill you up. I want to fill you up. How do I look holding this, by the way? Look at that. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, guys, I've got something that I can't use right now, but that's okay. So what we're going to... Oh, oh, my goodness. I forgot about the mobs. The mobs. Should we make our way over to the house? I think we should do, but we're going to have to run pretty quickly. If we got everything, I'm going to take an iron sword. I'm going to take some cooked chicken just in case I get hungry. And three, two, one. One. Trust, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's not get shot. Let's not get shot. Let's try and make it inside the house. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's the door? Is the door around here? Oh, the door's here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right then. We need to find some treasure. Wow. There's a there's a head here. Trust, did you follow me? Come inside, buddy. Jeez. Come inside. I know it's scary. What is that noise? What is that noise? What is that noise? That sounded horrible. What is that noise? Oh my goodness. You can see in the top left, I've got a sanity bar. Which um, goes down the more I get scared and the more monsters come across. So what do we got here? We've got um, some stuff. I don't really know what to do with this. I know what to do with this part. Oh, I remember now. I remember now what we can do with these. So let's grab this and put a stick, flint and steel and gunpowder together. And we get a tinder box, which I think we can light this with. I'm not... What is that noise? That is so freaky. Let me see if I can light this. I want to be able to light it. There we go. Let's pick it up. And now we have a light source attached to our hand, which is perfect. We can now have, like, the whole thing lighting up as we go around, which is really, 
really super helpful, to be honest. And that's only when you're holding it in your hand. Otherwise, it just goes dark, as you can see here. Look at that. And also, we can make some torches out of this. But torches act a little bit differently now. So, as you can see, we've got some unlit torches. And these won't light unless you put them um, either next to another torch or light them with another torch. Or you light them with the tinderbox. So, let's um, light this one right here. There we go. And then you can break it and pick it back up. Now, the light torches... That sound is really freaking me out. Really freaking me out. So the torches now only last for two hours. So after two hours, your lights will go out. So it makes Minecraft a lot harder. Now, I think that's all we have in there. So let's take our, our little candle holder and look around for a little bit. Let's see what's going down. Wow, slime. You can't fit through that window. You're too fat. You're way too fat. Now, it looks like there's another chest here. What's down here? A lantern. Oh, that's perfect. We need to fill it with oil, though. Um, should we go and fill it with oil now? I think we should. Um, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Pick it up. Um, Terraros, follow me. It's going to be very dangerous. Oh, my goodness. Quick, 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 before it explodes. Quick, 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 quick. Here we go. Terraros is following. Terraros, just stand out there for a second. A second. So we need to fill this up quickly. And there we go. The lantern is fully fueled. And now, if we press the F key, we can hold the lantern out in front of us. Look how awesome we look. All amnesia-like and beautiful. So let's get out of here. Come on, Treros. Come on. We need to get past these slimes. They're going to hurt us. Nibble at our ankles and get back inside this mansion. I don't know why I'm kind of using this as a safe house, but it seems to be working so far. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's skeleton bones. There's skeleton bones. Quick, run. Run, run, run. Oh, no. This is scary. Oh, no. Look at these chandeliers. They look amazing as well. Right. I need to go upstairs. Quick. Let's go. All the monsters are coming inside. This is not good. Whew. That was scary. Hopefully we'll be okay up here. Look at these lanterns as well. They look really cool. I think we can light them. There we go. We can light them. Very nice. It sounds like there's a lot of, um, of monsters in here. How are we doing? Is everyone okay? What is this? What is this? It doesn't look like there's anyone in here, which is good. Oh, man. I'm super scared, Troas. I don't know what I'm doing right now. This is going to be super scary. Anyway, what's in here? We've got a flashlight. Oh, wow. We've got a flashlight and batteries. How do we use these? Can we um, put the batteries in the flashlight? No battery placed in. Let's try it. Let's see if we can put it in. Oh, you got me right on the top of the head. That's so unfair. There we go. A flashlight. Is this good as well? Let's, um, let's turn it on. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Look how much light this gives us. It gives us loads. And we look amazing holding it as well. Look at that. It's huge. <laughs> With me with my arrow in the top of the head. Right then. Let's open this bad boy because there's a balcony key. And there's also, what else have we got? A heavy door key. Now, let me just eat up a little bit and see if any of these keys will work um, in here. I'm not sure if they will. Oh, heavy door. Did that work? It did work. I think we're okay, though. I think we're okay. But there is one more key here, and it says balcony. Now, is it around here anywhere? Come on, Trios. Let's find out. What is that noise? There's some weird noises coming from over here. We didn't check around this corner. And I think this is... There's not very good sounds coming from here, Treoris, but let's use the um, let's use the balcony key and see if it unlocks it. Ready? Three, two, one. Are we good? Are we good? What are you? What are you? Hey, buddy. Oh! Oh, God! That made me jump so badly. Oh, man. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? What do we do? How do we lock him away? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What is he doing? What are you doing? Sir, please back off. Please back off right now. Oh my goodness, he is crazy. Let's lock this door. <gasps> wow. Oh man, he is, he is on fire. He is actually, oh, that's crazy. I actually almost died. Oh no, he's affecting me. He's affecting me, Charles. Quick, run. Charles, run. He's affecting my sanity right now. Oh no, where am I supposed to go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Charles, where did he go? Charles, where did he go? Is he gone? I think he's gone. I need to eat some chicken. I need to eat some chicken right now. Where did he go? Did you see him affecting my vision and stuff then? That was spooky. Did he come through here? Did he die? No, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is! Oh, he's behind you! Charles, he's behind you. He's affecting me in all kinds of ways. Look! Oh, that's freaky. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Quick. Come up here. Oh, oh there's someone up there. There's someone up here. Who's that? Oh, no! This is so bad. Oh, Charles, we need to get up to the top. How are we going to get around there? There's someone right here. There's someone there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go right to the top. <gasps> I think we made it. I think we made it. Can they climb stairs? Oh, God. Charles, be very careful down there, buddy. Be very careful. I think he's okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. That was, that was terrible. I think he was locked in here. 
What's in here? Oh, I found it. Charles, I've got the crystal skull. I've got it. Now we need to we need to get out of here. Let me eat some more chicken. This is super scary. Charles, I've got my flashlight. Did you distract them? Did you distract them? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Charles. Oh, no, they're here. Quick, get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Back to the tent. I'll meet you there. Quick. Let's get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm always out of health. Charles, quick, run. Run, 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 run. Back to the tent. Back to the tent. I've got I've got a sword if I need it. Oh, man. Charles, where are you? Quick, watch out for this zombie. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Chop him down. I don't know why I didn't use this sword. I was so scared. Charles, come inside. Please. Please, I'm going to push you inside before you die. Quick, get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy, guys. We made it, though. We've got the crystal skull. Check it out. Yes. Can we place this anywhere or anything? No, we, we can't. But we got it. We got it. Let's keep it safe in here. Oh, man. We need to go home. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a showcase of the really, really awesome Amnesia mod. It is so good. You can create amazing Amnesia-themed adventure maps with this. You can see the sanity goes down when you're either in the dark or those uh, terrifying creatures come after you. And I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a different style, but this is super spooky. And I think Troas would agree. He's right down there just looking at me right now. But um, thank you so much for watching it. If you do want to check out this mod, do go to the description below. It's a really well-made mod it uses all the sounds from the game and it's so cool so go and check that out check out the map in the description as well too and if you did enjoy this video then please do leave a big fat juicy like and also this happens to be the first video you've seen by me then please do subscribe and join team tdn today for daily minecraft videos again thank you all for watching i'm gonna go and sit down because i'm super scared and i <laughs> will see you all next time goodbye